Hello to YouTube, this is the Spoonie Bard, and if you notice things look a bit different about this program here that I'm using, well, that's because this is the newly released version 12. Uh, I, was, I just thought I'd make a new video to show you guys some of the new features. Now, um, in the last version of Devil Mask, the, the, AI, the uh, user interface up here was a bit chaotic and kind of disjointed, but it's been cleaned up a bit, so now you have, you have a basic play, stop, record whatever buttons right here uh, up here there's there's a more uh, there's a more standard um, there's there's a more standard I don't know what the term for this is but basically this is um this has been made to look like more standard programs like with a drop down menu and all that stuff so so there's no more so there's no more searching for tiny things also the instrument and pattern menus have been placed on the same screen so you don't have to go back and forth between them here there's also no selective um, there's also no weirdly selective instrument deleting like for example if I were to right here I it doesn't delete the last instrument in in here anymore instead it deletes the one you're selecting like so and uh, most of these commands are pretty much the same. There's not there's not a whole bunch different about that. Um, there are more standard, uh, like I said, there are more standard options here. And instead of having its own custom menu, there is instead a there is instead a loading menu, much like any other uh, much like any other program. Again, to, it's for the purposes of making it a little bit more unique. So. Alright, you got a you got a new and improved instrument editing window right here. Or at least I certainly think so. And uh here. There's also a there's also a piano display down here. That's pretty neat, right? Alright, and um plane entry. Not not sure what that is, honestly. And uh, there's a font, there's different font types, I guess, MIDI configuration, and various things of this nature, various edit commands, as I've already said, options for exporting Wave, uh, VGM, ROM, etc., etc. And um, and also there is actually a there's actually a new mode for the Sega Genesis. This one. Here. It might take me a bit to explain this, but but here the way FM synthesis works is that each channel has a series of operators, and they have various output operators, as it were. So, however, this new this new uh, channel mode called Extra Channel Three, I'm I'm assuming, actually splits the third channel into f into the four different operators, so you can control them individually. And thus, they can actually play different notes depending on depending on what kind of um, instrument you have. Like, for example, you can you can actually use it to make various distortion effects or detune effects that would that would normally require the uh, arcade module in order to make that work. But but this actually allows you to mess around with that a little bit. So, like for example, here here uh, you can see in this channel I have instrument B loaded. Now, when I go down to instrument B, it's just a normal piano instrument. It would sound like, but when it's but when I have it like this, I can actually make it echo. And I also use it in this first channel here to actually, um, to actually simulate a sort of velocity sound. It might not be noticeable to everybody, but if you hear those, if you hear those little uh, decreases in the intensity of the volume, then that's essentially what that is. And um, besides that, I can't really say a whole bunch is different. So, so yeah, hopefully this new version will be more accessible to you because it's a pretty drastic change from the last version. Hope you guys enjoy, and uh, see you later.